hey what's going on guys welcome back to our youtube channel and welcome to this video this is john from programming knowledge and in this video guys we're gonna talk about loops in c programming so sometimes it is necessary for the program to execute the statement several times in c loops execute a block of commands in a specified number of times until a condition is met so in this video tutorial you will learn um, about all the, the looping statements of C programming and along with their use. So as you can see, computer is the most um, suitable machine to perform repetitive tasks and it can tirelessly do a task tens of thousands of times. Okay, And basically, like every programming language has this particular feature to instruct to do such repetitive tasks with the help of certain form of statements. So that's why we have this loops. And then of course guys, in C, uh, the C programming language supports like three types of loops. So we're going to discuss first uh, while loops, okay? So we have while loops, we have do while, and of course we also have the for loops, okay? So we're going to dissect each type of loop so that we could you know better understand how it works and uh, how we can use these loops in in a certain situation so basically guys when we say loop I'm just going to show you a simple flowchart so we have here a simple flow, uh, flow chart that describes the uh, nature of loop or loops in general so we have like start and then we can declare a counter or a variable counter and then our program will try to evaluate the condition and then if the condition is you know returns true it could um, execute statements and then increment the counter and then uh, again evaluate the condition if the like for example the increment counter is equal or you know greater than something and then execute statements uh, increment counter and then uh, evaluate condition and lastly uh, if the condition is met then it will stop the execution of that particular loop so basically guys a loop is just you know doing our, or executing repetitive statements inside our C program so there are like uh, control statements we have uh, statements that we can use so we have a uh, break we can have like um, continue and then of course we have the go to statement that we have discussed previously in our video tutorial series okay so as i've uh, as i've said uh, we will discuss first the while loops in c programming okay so c while loops statement allows to repeatedly run the same block of code until the condition is met and of course while loop is the most basic loop in C programming and while uh, while loop has one condition and it contains uh, or it executes as long as the condition is true and then the condition of the loop is tested before the body of the loop is executed so uh, the syntax for our while loop is like this so we have the keyword while and then uh, a condition so like a test expression and then if this condition is like true then it will try to uh, execute the statements in, inside this particular while loop okay now we have like we can have a very simple application for this so for example we will try to implement this okay so we can declare like a variable so int n equals one and then times was five and then of course we can declare the while loop for our program like this and then open and close parenthesis and then we can say n 
is less than or equal to times. Okay? So we have to add the curly braces for that. And then inside these curly braces, uh, these are the statements that will be executed if this particular condition is true. Okay? So it will try to print like C while loops and then we can add the percent or yeah percent d which is the format specifier for our int variable and then we can display the n okay and then of course we can we can increment the var uh, the value of n by using the increment that we have discussed before which is n plus plus so basically this is just you know uh, basically saying n equals n plus 1, okay? Uh, I think uh, we have already discussed that, the n plus plus increment in our video uh, previous videos, okay? Now, we have set the value n equals to 1, okay? And then we have set the number of times the loop should be executed. So, that's basically 5. Uh, there should be 5 execution. And then we... Uh, added the while statement and then check the condition if n is less than or equal to times then uh, execute this statements right here so we can try to check this build and run our application and try to see the output of our program and i'm going to you know slowly explain to you what happens in this particular program so you can see the output uh, uh, right here see why loops 1 see why loops 2 and then 3 4 and 5 and after uh, 5 it no longer executed because it you know ended the loop okay so uh, I'm going to explain to you how we got this output so first thing as i've said we declare n equals to one so in this condition one is less than or equal to five which is the value of times so basically and of course it is true that one is less than or equal to five so that's why it executed this particular statement see y loops and then it displays the value one right here okay and then it incremented the value n so now the n becomes 2 okay and then it will uh, go here in our condition once again so 2 is less than or equal to 5 so that's true because obviously 2 is less than or equal to 5 so that's uh, it executes this statement right here see why loops and then the value of our n which is 2 again it incremented the n variable so uh, the n now becomes 3 so after that one uh, we will go back here in the condition is 3 equals or I mean less than or equal to 5 so that's true because 3 is equal to or I mean less than to 5 so that's why it uh, printed the uh, output right here see y loops and then the value of our n equals to 3 and now after that it incremented another time the n and the n becomes 4 now and it go back to the condition is 4 less than 5 so basically 4 is less than 5 obviously so that's why it printed out the C while loops and then uh, 4 the value of our n and again incremented added 1 to the n variable and then the n now becomes 5 and then go back here in the condition is 5 less than or equal to 5 so it uh, it return uh, true again because 5 is equal to 5 so it printed out C Y loops and then the value of our, of our n which is 5 now it incremented another time the n 
variable and now the the n variable becomes six and it will go directly here in our condition is six less than or equal to five so it returns false because six is not less than or not even equal to five that's why it uh, ended the loop and it never executed the uh, this particular statements right here once again because six is not less than or equal to 5 which is the value of our times variable so i think that's uh that's all there is to it guys for this tutorial and i hope it, it is clear and like if you have questions regarding this uh, please let me know in the comment section below and in the next video guys we're going to discuss the another version of loop which is the do while loops so again guys thank you for watching and see you in the next video